What's up guys, your boy Jay from JS Films. Now this video is for Now It's Epic. Basically, I am gonna tell you guys some tips that I have found when traveling around Europe with DJI drones. Now I have had a DJI Phantom 4 Pro, the Spark, and the Mavic Air. So I have all these tips. I know some of them are really basic, but sometimes, actually most of the time, the basic ones are the ones that we really forget when we're out there shooting. So I have some notes on my phone, so I have everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Now let's begin with preparing for the travel. One of the things that I always forget are the propellers, extra propellers. Make sure you guys get some extra propellers because when I went to Iceland and I actually broke one of the propeller, I was lucky enough that there was a DJI store in Iceland, right? So I was saved. But if you're preparing for travel, especially if it's a long trip or f somewhere far away or remote, make sure to get some propellers, definitely some extra ones. Now, the second thing you want to make sure you have is extra battery. Luckily for the Mavic Air, the battery is not that much, maybe like $80. So make sure you have at least two or three just so that you have enough battery when flying or just in case your battery just stops working for some reason. Another thing that I suggest you grab an extra of is the USB cable on the remote because like this is really fragile. It's really small and you can easily break it. So having two or three of these with you will definitely save you in the future. Okay, so let's talk about before taking off. The stuff that I forget all the time, which drives me crazy is First, the propellers. You gotta make sure that these propellers are installed properly. Now, what I usually do now is twist or spin the propellers, each and every one of them, because when I went to Switzerland and I took the Mavic Air out and I was ready to fly, I didn't check it, I just put it down, did everything, right? And then when I tried to take off, the actual propeller in the back was getting stuck. It was hitting the top of the drone. So the reason for that is I never used to remove the propellers from the Mavic Air. I would just put it in a bag or the case just like this. And it was definitely a bad idea because the case actually bent one of the back propellers. So from now on, I actually take the propellers off after I'm done flying and I just install them before I fly because I don't want that thing to happen again. Another thing that I always forget is the stinking camera cover. I always try to take off with this thing on, which is not a good idea. So make sure you take care of this camera cover, make sure you take it off before you fly. And additionally with that, make sure the antennas are also folded down because these things are actually antennas. So if these are folded, you're gonna have problems as far as range goes. So the next check I do before takeoff is battery check. Make sure that it is seated in there properly because I've seen and heard some people uh, flying their drones and the battery would actually pop off. Now that's scary because you're gonna definitely crash your drone without batteries. So make sure it's seated and clicks just like that. Pull it, tug on it a little bit so that you know that it's there properly. The next thing before flight is check your software. Just make sure you don't have any errors whatsoever. Make sure you have the green light to go before you take off. Because if you ignore those errors, you will most likely get some type of interference while you're flying. So take care of all those errors, which is for the Mavic Air, it's always the compass. I always have to calibrate the compass everywhere I go. I know, it drives me crazy but I do it all the time so I don't crash my drone. So before I take off, I usually hold the camera like this and kind of aim it towards the scene that I'm about to uh, video just to set the exposure. That way I'm saving the battery of the drone because you don't want to take off, right? And then set your exposure because you're already losing battery when you're just setting the exposure up there. So another good practice for you guys out there is actually pre-planning your shots before you take off. That again will save battery because you don't have to think about it when you're up there. Before you take off, go ahead and look around just to see what shots you want, plan it ahead. So when you're up there, you're just getting all the shots. You're not thinking and wasting battery. So let's go ahead and move to during the flight tips. The number one tip I can give you guys is make smooth and slow movements. 
try not to jerk the controller that much. Just make sure you move precisely, smoothly, and slowly so that you can have really good cinematic footage. On top of that, if you're into long flyovers, pretty much just flying a drone around a city or flying a drone around a lake in one take, that's cool and all, but if you want cinematic footage, in my opinion, you will have to just do cuts. I mean, you can record one take, but different scenes and then cut them later on, but to me, you flying around a city or a lake, just flying around is really not that cinematic. Lastly, during flight, another tip I have for you guys is before you take your drone down, go ahead and rotate around just to see what is around you. For example, in Norway, I'm taking a video of this nice scenic mountain with some water stream and cars and roads and cows. So I was done with that. But before I put the drone down, I spun it around and voila another amazing scene, another amazing shot that I didn't even know was there. So another tip is before you take your drone down, go ahead and do a quick spin just to see if you can get another shot up there before bringing your drone down. Moving on to the last part, which is in case of emergency. Now, in case of emergency, if your drone is malfunctioning and you just lose control of it and it's just zipping through somewhere and just you can't control it, Remember that there is a pause button there. By pressing this pause button, that drone should stop like almost instantly. It's this red button right here on the Mavic Air's remote control. It's so helpful. Also, if you are losing control with your drone, don't touch it. Just wait until you get a good connection again and then move the drone back. If you are losing connection and you're still not connecting, Go ahead and get closer if you can to the direction over the drone is and then see if you can get connection that way. Don't try to do any maneuvers if you're losing a lot of connection because sometimes even if you're pressing the remote like this and you don't have connection, it might still be moving and that's really, that's a horrible thing because you don't know where your drone is. So if you lose connection and you lose control of your drone, take everything off hands off the controller, move closer to where your drone is, and then wait for a connection. If the connection doesn't come, then hopefully your drone will come home uh, and use the GPS. But most likely, if you're not too far away from it, it should connect right back up, and then slowly bring it home manually. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you all learned something new today. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.